friends. Happy, making sure I was unmuted. Happy Monday. Uh, welcome to my live. And if you happen to be watching later, welcome to the replay. My name is Robin and I'm with Robin's Egg Blue Creations. And I'm also an independent designer with Chat Couture. Once you hop on this evening um, during the live or later during the hashtag replay, don't forget to say hi um, if you and tell me where you're watching from. If you are watching the replay, don't forget to type hashtag replay in the comments. That way I know that you are here. <clears throat> um, I also want to let you know I am live in three locations this evening. So if you hear me refer to a comment that you don't see in your comment feed, that person may be viewing and commenting from a different platform. Also, if you are watching from my private Facebook group, if you wouldn't mind giving um, StreamYard permission to pin your profile name and pick to your comment um, by clicking the permission link in the description of the video. I would greatly appreciate it. If you choose not to, that's quite all right. Just know that you will show up as Facebook user in my comments and I won't know who to say hi to. Speaking of saying hi, Jason is watching from the other side of the door and I believe that is probably Miss Stacia. She's watching from her craft room. <clears throat> I do want to apologize for any lighting or sound um, differences. I'm in a different part of the basement this evening, and I haven't quite moved into this area. And as I started talking, it's very, very echoey to me. Um, that might not come across on your end, but just know that lighting and camera and audio will be changing throughout the next couple of weeks but it's glad to, i'm glad to be back and um if at any time during this evening if you like what you see and think others should see it make sure to spread the chuck love around facebook tag your crafty friends invite them to uh, watch along with you hit that like button hit that heart button and um subscribe if you haven't already so with that, I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera. <coughs> Hello, Miss Nicole. How are you? I'm also going to grab a cough drop. I haven't had to use these for a while, but over the weekend, I got, I either have a cold or I have allergies. So I don't want to be coughing. So you're going to hear me sucking on a cough drop instead. Welcome, Miss Nicole. I think this might be one of your first times viewing a live. Okay, so tonight, <coughs> excuse me, tonight we're going to be using the, gosh, sorry, I didn't even take it out. We're going to be using the Club Couture Transfer. So this is hashtag monthly transfer Monday. And this is the exclusive eight and a half by 11 transfer that comes in the Club Couture um, DIY kit this month. So this one is called Premier Gasoline. And I've also pulled out a retired transfer that works perfect with this. And it is the vintage truck. And if you weren't able to get a vintage truck transfer but would like one, I do happen to have a couple Um new in my stash just to holler at me and I can get with you to get those but it pairs perfectly with this transfer so that's what we're going to be doing so I have the 9 by 12 um, Eden board so this is a reusable porcelain steel magnetic chalkboard I've already wiped it down or sprayed it down with a little bit of water because our chalk pastes are water soluble so I can redesign on this chalkboard. So I, I've just gotten that chalk paste wet. And as you can see, it comes off super easy. So I'm just using the paste scraper, but you could also use an old gift card. You could use the little, I don't even know if Pampered Chef still carries, the little brown scrapers that come with your stoneware. Those would work great as well. If you have a cricket scraper, those would work. <coughs> Excuse me. So you just want to get up all that old paste. Let's see if I can scooch a 
all that to the trash can. And when it comes up easy peasy. I'm just going to take a paper towel or and get up some of that excess water. You can also use our board erasers. <coughs> oh, goodness, I got a tickle. <coughs> Stacia, you want a vintage truck? I will get with you and we'll get that to you. So these are the board erasers. They work great for um, cleaning your boards and your transfers. <coughs> Goodness, I'm going to have tickles. Sorry about that. It's been a while since I've had to <clears throat> battle a cough, but... That is why I keep cough drops in my stash, in my craft stash. Okay, so <clears throat> now we are perfect. Our board is clean, almost dry, and it is ready to go. So this particular board does not <clears throat> come with any hangers. You can certainly add hangers. And I share that with you just to keep in mind. <coughs> oh, gosh, sorry. When you are chalking, be aware of where your hangers might be. I can't tell you the number of times I've chalked on a board and then realized that my <clears throat> I chalked it wrong based on where my hangers go. Okay, so, but this one doesn't have any hangers, so I can put it wherever I go. Hello, Miss Bonita. Hello, Kendria. <clears throat> So again, we are using the club transfer for the month. This one's called Premier Gasoline. I wasn't a particular fan of it <clears throat> until I saw somebody put it with the vintage truck. So that's what we're gonna do. Put that away. So like every other transfer, because these are reusable, I wanna put something on the back side that tells me that this is the back side <clears throat> and this is the front side because these are reusable about eight to 12 times depending on how well you take care of them i need to know that when i'm done cleaning this and putting it back on the backer sheet that it goes on this side not this side <clears throat> uh kendria i'm i don't know if i'm getting a cold or if my allergies just flared up over the weekend I've had a terrible time remembering to take my allergy pill at night. <clears throat> so I can't decide which one it is. So hopefully I'm not getting a cold, but I don't like these allergies if that's what they are. <clears throat> but I'm mainly on allergy pills because, you know, when I get a cold, then I end up coughing for three months at a time. So it put me on an allergy pill to see if that would help. And it did, but <clears throat> so we'll see. So this is a new transfer. I'm going to peel it off the backer sheet and I need to fuzz it a little bit. So I'm just putting it on this fuzzing towel. It's actually just a terry cloth. <clears throat> so I'm just going to knock back of the adhesive on the back side just a little bit and I also want to <clears throat> point out that this is one of the new light manufacturers so you can see it through it and for a while the branding strip down here was actually a mesh silk screen but it looks like they have resolved that issue and now it's printed on there so I don't have to worry about that branding strip being a silk screen anymore if you do happen to get a transfer where that branding strip is mesh, it will have a big black sticker on the packaging to remind you that that branding strip is <clears throat> indeed mesh. Okay, so let me I probably need to refer to my picture. Ah. <clears throat> let me 
pull it up here because I don't remember quite how she did it. <coughs> What's the nice thing about Chalk Couture? We have a designer group page and we all share our ideas. So hers actually goes sideways. This may not be the board for that. <clears throat> so here is the picture for reference. This actually may not be the right size board. But we'll make do. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, I don't know if this one this one is not gonna be big enough. So we're gonna go this way. We're just gonna use <clears throat> hmm. I think we may cut part of the truck off, front and back. <clears throat> I didn't think about that. So we may not be able to fit all this. <laughs> Okay, we might do. I'm gonna put <clears throat> okay, we're gonna back up a little bit. So let's do our truck first and then we'll add all of the rest. So this truck is actually <clears throat> two pieces. And actually <clears throat> I cheat. You're actually supposed to put this part down first, but this piece actually dips lower because of the tires. So I'll put this one down first and just do the tires. And then I'll put that one on, match the hubcaps up to the tires. <clears throat> it's kind of a process, but <clears throat> in this way I can line up the truck where I want it a little easier as well. Kind of put it there. This is definitely not going to look like the picture. <clears throat> so I'm only going to burnish where the tires are for right now because that's all I'm doing. <clears throat> and I think I'll have to do those in. Let's see. So let's do those in white. <clears throat> so I, um, I'm uh, clearing my throat. I'm sure my boss got tired of it all day today. So I'm just using the multi-tool and I'm just going to do the tires for right now. This is going to help with my placement of my the base of the truck, which is the other piece of the transfer. <clears throat> And I was, as I was saying before, this transfer, truck transfer is retired, but I have a few in my stash in my, uh, <clears throat> that, in my personal shop that I would be more than happy to sell to you. Kind of sad that they retired it. <clears throat> So everyone have a great weekend. Everyone have graduation parties. Kendra, did you guys have any uh, bad weather in Mississippi last week? We had quite so we had some storms on Tuesday. Lots of hail and rain. Lots of wind. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to pull up my tires. Okay, so let's just lay. Ah! Too many transfers. So I'm just going to lay this down. 
not get that dry, but I need to plug this in. And I gotta reach a little bit. Jason said he had a great weekend, graduation party, and Mother's Day. Oh, yeah, happy belated Mother's Day to everybody. Peter said, just rain. You moved your daughter home from school this weekend. Have the first year of college, though. <clears throat> I'm sure you're glad to have her back home. Okay, so now let's bring in the other part of the truck. And I'm not fuzzing this particular transfer because I've used this a lot and it's lost a lot of sticky <clears throat> no it doesn't line up perfectly you just gotta, gotta do your best <clears throat> so i'll do the hubcaps probably in gray which is Storm, and then I think I'm going to do the body and, of course, Teal. If they had a great year, good. <clears throat> so I'm using the detail tool again, just because I don't need a lot of paste here. get our teal out so this is couture teal now actually I'm just gonna pull the pole oh boy probably should have I'm just gonna pull the wheels up I don't want my face to dry in the silk screen because then it will pull everything up I can lay this back down. Ooh, I should have probably let that cool. Okay, so I'm going to burnish where my truck body goes. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's get our teal. My apologies if you hear my son. Uh, he's right, literally right, right next to me now that I've moved spaces. And I, I was gonna, I kind of started to cringe because I can hear him, but you know what? I also decided that he's not gonna be around for forever. So I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy it. Not gonna let it bother me. If it bothers you, my apologies. But
Okay, this probably isn't going to turn out great, but <clears throat> Kendra said it just makes it more realistic, and that is absolutely true. Turned out good. <clears throat> okay, so that's the base of the truck. So then we'll put the other piece back over it after we dry it. So let's bring in the front piece of the truck again. Benita said, this is probably your favorite trip. Um, oh, you like the gasoline transfer? She says she can't wait to use it, making a shadow memory box with stuff from your dad's gas station. I can see that. I wasn't very fond of it until I saw it paired with the vintage truck. Hey, Margie. <clears throat> So now I'm just going to, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh, it's really stuck. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> I'm going to fuzz this one because <clears throat> it's really sticking, especially up here. So I'm just going to knock back a lot of this adhesive that's on the back because I don't want it to peel off the teal parts of my truck. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to line it back up <clears throat> as best as I can. And it won't be perfect, but And I'm going to lightly burnish here where my teal is. And then I'll burnish it decent up there. <clears throat> so I'm going to do probably bark on these sideboards and then the rest will probably be gray. So let's do the bark first. So I'm going to do the, this little bed board. I don't know what it's called. The bed rails, the truck bed rail, railing, and bark to make it look like that rustic wood railing. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to lightly peel that back. Okay. 
just enough to get ah. that was close I dropped my quick dry tool in the paste but it's fine <clears throat> I'm just going to lightly burnish that area back down. <clears throat> Let's get our storm. And we'll do the rest of the truck outline. So this will do the hood, the cab, and then all of the outlining for the top of the truck. Storm is my paste is very thick. Okay, so what's on everybody's work table? Whether that be your work desk, your craft table, what's everyone working on this week? my paint is so thick or my paste I'm gonna pull this part up after I get done in here Let's see what kind of damage was done stop right there and I'm just going to gently lay it right back down. <clears throat> Kendra says she's base coated the welcome sign with flowers from Artsy and Blue. I don't know, I'll have to go and see what that one is. There's so many door hanger templates that I want to buy and make but there's not enough time and there are not enough hours in the day to get everything done. I'm moving my <clears throat> craft room around to a different area. I'm just really embarrassed at all of the stuff that I have that I <laughs> that I need to use. So I need to start shopping my stash before I go shopping for stuff. Because it's just sad. It's embarrassing how much stuff I have, people. It really is. It just, it's appalling. Um, the welcome from Art Team Blue. Kendra says it's so pretty. She's been doing some everyday designs. Yep. I love a good evergreen, everyday sign. Okay, that's not perfect and the gray, it kind of shows up in camera. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna put these over here while that dries. I'm going to spray these down with some water to keep that paste wet until I have time to clean it. So I just have a spray bottle over here and I just literally spray them down while they're laying on a towel. <clears throat> just makes them a little easier to clean later. So there's what it looks like now. It would have looked better on a white surface with maybe a black truck, but this is what I had. Again, shopping my stash. bit 
it over here. And I can get it good and clean later. But the nice thing about this frame is it's so distressed that if you get other colors on it, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So let's give that a try. Okay, let's pull our reference pick back up. This is kind of, we're doing a version of that. So I need to add, <clears throat> can I draw too? <laughs> no, I cannot draw. Um, I can trace all of the stuff that Regina gives us to practice uh, in Procreate, but that's about it. I cannot draw. Okay, so we want to add a portion of the gas tank or the gas pump to the back of the truck. Just it's going to look like it's pulled up to the gas pump. I don't want it too tall. I have this other piece of, I have the backer sheet down just to kind of protect the rest of my design. And I'm going to pop in one of those right there to cover up that piece of the truck. Oh boy. Can you draw Kendria? <laughs> no, I don't do templates. Um, I can do, <laughs> uh, I've, I can reshape or I can resize them in Publisher. But no, I don't do templates. Okay, so we're just going to do the gas pump. <clears throat> and I don't know what color to do it in. Yes, I do. <clears throat> Just to add a little bit more color, we'll do an old timey red gas tank. So I'm going to use candy apple red. Can you use this? I think I've seen some of your templates. You, you can't draw realistic stuff, but you can do cartoony stuff. Well, I can't even draw a stick figure. <clears throat> okay, so we're just going to do the gas pump in red. All oh, my pastes are so thick. So I just need to get the, I'm pulling the excess back off because I can put that back in my jar. <clears throat> and let's pull this off. You did, didn't you do an Easter Bunny template? Is that what the one you did? I think it was last year. <clears throat> so there's our gas pump. I probably should have done a cream gas pump, but hindsight.
Uh, Kimberly says she likes the red gas pump. Martin says she likes that I'm using part of the truck. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of this transfer until I saw it with the truck. <clears throat> so now let's pull the rest of our... I kind of want to use... <coughs> this portion down here, but I probably should have put it down first. Maybe we'll use it up here. So let's put the premium. <clears throat> I'm going to flip it around just so that I can see what I'm doing. Gonna see how much of this fits up top. So I think I'm just going to pull it up a little bit and push that up. <clears throat> Now I just have to decide if I'm going to use the border. Okay, so I've got the top. I'm definitely going to use the premium gasoline. And then I, I'm going to use the tires, petro, and oil. <clears throat> so I think I will add the border. To about here and then I'll just join everything together and then we'll add a few of these little pieces intermixed so let's turn this back around and I'm going to use white <clears throat> I can see a bubble you can definitely see where your transfer has adhered to the surfaces with these thinner transfers. You can see all your little bubbles. <clears throat> okay. And the nice thing about this transfer is it's already super distressed. So if you miss a few more spots, it, you're not going to be able to tell. Because that's just the way that it's designed. Just making sure I get all of the silk screen areas. And I'm gonna come back in and even up all of my squeegee lines. not the way to peel it off but that's just how I'm doing it right now <clears throat> now I have too much space down here but Oh, I 
<clears throat> okay, so now this part can get slightly tricky. I'm going to bring in one of these smaller backer pieces to kind of cover up part of this transfer so it's not so unwieldy. And I'm just going to line this box up. I'm going to move this backer sheet down and try to cover up as much of the word gasoline as I can. Without getting into that box. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to take parts and pieces of your transfer like I'm doing and put them together. You don't have to use the whole thing as it's designed. I hope I'm not bringing this up. This is definitely something that I've had to learn to do. It's not necessarily using the transfer as designed. Hello, whoever just hopped on. Let me pop all over and see who that is. I'm not for sure who that is. Okay, so let's peel this off. So there's that. I'm gonna be slightly crooked. How about this, Ashley? Sorry, you popped up as Facebook user. So if you need some fun little nails, like my little cheetahs, hit up my friend Ashley at Glamorous Nails by Ashley. She does a great job with, um, is it... Is it shellac it's gel, or is it gel polish? Okay, so now <clears throat> I'm just gonna try to put in some of these little elements like this last chance next service 100 miles fits perfectly down here. I think we'll do that in red just to tie in a little bit more of that so it doesn't look so odd. So I have to be careful of the edge. Uh, she says shellac. Now it's called gel, but they are the same. That's good to know. <clears throat> oh. 
Oops, I missed part of the S. I should have done maybe this premium in red or the gasoline in red. Um, my new costume is looking great. I've got a little bit more put in. I need to get a little some more stuff to help absorb the sound because I feel like I'm in an echo chamber. <coughs> um, so now I have like, three others that I could use. Just trying to figure out which one's going to fit the best. I think I like this open 24 7. So I'm going to put that there. She says it does, it does sound a little different, but we'll get it figured out. I still have lots of stuff in the other portion of the of the other room that I've got to get put over here, but so far loving it. <clears throat> Although I said was saying earlier, I'm embarrassed at how much stuff I actually have that I've never used. So guess who's gonna be shopping her stash instead of shopping for other more stuff? I may also be doing some mystery boxes that may have like paint and surfaces and all sorts of stuff that I don't use or need. <clears throat> so be looking for those because I, I, there's no way I can use all this stuff on my own. There we are. <clears throat> Premier gasoline. Last last chance next service 100 miles. And we've got our open 24/7. It's not perfect, but luckily it's such a distressed transfer that I can get away with it. I'm not mad about that as Matt Pittman from Meat Church would say. Although I'm sure he's probably copywritten that, so I probably shouldn't say it anymore. Okie doke, let's put me this way. So here is our little different color. Well, this camera colors things a little bit differently. So there it is in probably real color. Kendry says it's cute. Thank you. <clears throat> Jason says that's adorable. I've seen some really cute uh, t-shirts made with this one. <coughs> I'll try to post them on my page. They're usually watermarked and usually the designers let us share. So I'll post a few of those. There's our thing tonight. Um, and there are a ton of promotions going on right now. So let's, I'm going to look over here at my computer. Is this the... So here's the Club Couture transfer this month. It comes, it not only comes with the transfer, but as the DIY Club Couture kit of the month, it also comes with three paste singles. Um, this month's colors are Cadet, which is the blue at the top, Ocean Mist, which is the light blue in the middle, and Storm, which is the gray that we used this evening. So with, there is a three-month minimum commitment to sign up, but you can cancel at any time after the three months. And you also, 
There are also club couture promotions um, from month to month. You also get flat rate shipping on reduced flat rate shipping on all of your orders. So that is um, the monthly transfer of the month. There, we also have a color craze going on right now. So I believe it's buy three, get one free. And these are just color combination suggestions. You can pick any four uh, paste and inks. And if you buy three, you get one free. And here's the, the Club Couture promo for the month. <clears throat> you can buy a, you get a free color case when you spend $75 um, U.S. or Canadian while supplies last. <clears throat> the color of the month this month is called Saucy, so it's kind of an Americana red. So it's kind of like if Bark and Candy Apple had a baby paste, um, Saucy would be that color. So you can unlock the ability to purchase Saucy after you place a $75 order. It is while supplies last, and I believe you can stack up to three. So that's another promo. Um, we have deals for days, which just started last week. So there are five monogram porch sign sets. So you get the, <coughs> excuse me, the four inch monogram letters. Um, one, kit, one set would say welcome, one says home, one says hey y'all. One says hello, you just duplicate the L, and one says congrats, and those are all um, priced together, and they're also at a reduced price. There are also two new plus-size palette packs, so you get 20 palette packs, or 20 paste singles in one palette pack, so there are two of those, and then there's also a limited edition Honey Maple 6x18 double-sided box frame. Those are all listed as under specials at my chalk site. The other promo is May's Try Me Kit. So this one is busy, busy, busy. You get a chalk suede notebook. You get the size A busy, busy, busy transfer. You get a shimmer harvest and storm uh, paste single. And you get a mini squeegee. And every month the... Trimming kits are uh, priced at 20% off retail. <coughs> and then I think the last promo is if you uh, donate at least $5 to Watson Love this month while placing an order, then you get a free A-sized retired, I believe it's a retired transfer um, that will be added to your order. Sorry. Try not to cough. So I think that is it. <clears throat> so before you all head out, and but you don't need to be present to win, I'm just looking over at my computer um, because I want to share my screen <clears throat> so we can do our Happy Mail giveaway for this morning. I think I had like 15 of you comments so thank you just hop back over here and make sure that's going to share and i can remove this one okay so i'm using a different app today <clears throat> so this is all of your you have 11 participants i just want to confirm this Oops, change colors on me okay so we need to get a drum roll. Let's hit start. <clears throat> so Emily is this. Uh oh, is this this morning's winner? I caught her. <clears throat> so congratulations, Emily. I'll contact her and be looking for. Wednesday's live check-in post. <clears throat> um, thank you all for participating in those every week. Should be normal schedule, at least through Wednesday. I will be working at Junk in the Trunk on Saturday, so my um, content this weekend may be pre-recorded or I may go live 
um, later in the day on Saturday. So if you haven't stopped by Junk in the Trunk at Central Mall in Salina yet, please do so. I do have a booth in there. It is booth number 97. It's actually a fitting room in the former CJ Banks location. <clears throat> so come look for me. I'll show you around. And um, But if you don't, I will definitely see you on Wednesday when I go live. Thanks so much for your support. Sorry, I'm kind of rambling. <clears throat> Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay,